Hi, this is Mark Mitchell, and um, I wanted to create a, a kind of a footnote to the tutorial I did last week about uh, using the new gallery uh, feature in WordPress.com blogs to put up your online portfolio of illustrations and artwork or photos or or whatever whatever you're showing off in the way of visual imagery, um, and. This is to a, a way to put up a thumbnail image on the sidebar of your WordPress.com blog, and let me let me uh, cite my source here. Uh, Thomas James uh, showed how to do this in a in a in a wonderful uh, PDF that he published and has made available to his fellow illustrators and artists for distribution. Um, it's uh, Thomas James has the. Uh, he is publisher of the escapefromillustration.com blog, and uh, I'll make I'll put the link to the blog and to his PDF uh, into the description of the video under the video, uh, and I'll, I'll also try to show it here in the in the, in the video so you can uh, maybe stop and just capture the uh, or jot down the shortened URL. Um, but let me let me just uh, walk you through it. I I used this to uh, uh, insert thumbnail images on my my own WordPress.com uh, sidebar uh, blog sidebar, and and uh, and I just wanted to give you one more option uh, for putting your images up on your blog. Uh, this was available to us before the new gallery feature in WordPress.com and it's still stylistically it still might be a good way for you to go to show off your pieces so let's let me just show you what I'm talking about um, I'm inside the dashboard of my my own wordpress.com blog and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open open this up in another tab so I'm gonna select my address and then I'm gonna go over here to uh, to open up a new in other words I want to have my blog appearing two times on my screen so I'll, I'll be working back and forth between the two okay so I've got it in two places and now I'm going to go back to the first tab where I have the same page appearing okay and uh, I want to put a little thumbnail image on the side of the front page of my blog. So I'm going to go over to um, Pages, which you can see here at the very bottom, and I'm going to um, click Pages. And I want to add a new page. So I clicked Add New Page, and there's my page. And so I'm not going to give it a title. I don't need to, and I and I'm not going to write anything on the page. I'm just going to uh, go get my image and put it on there. So I'm going to click this Add Media button, and it's asking where my file is that I want to put on the page. So I'm going to. Um, I'm going to hit select file and I'm, I'm in the folder now where my uh, where my some of my files my, my JPEGs are living and I'll just click uh, an image and it's it's loaded it onto the page and I'm not going to write a caption for it although I could and I'm going to select the, f the full size view of that image and I'm going to insert it into the page by clicking insert into post right here. Okay, so there it is on the page. We haven't published it yet, so I'm going to go over here on the dashboard and hit publish. And we'll wait for it to be published on my wordpress.com blog okay it's done now that it's been published I can go to the image 
and I can put my mouse over it and I can right click on the mouse and I'm going to go over here to copy image URL copy image URL and I'm going to left click it okay so now I've got the URL of this image and I'm going to go over here to the other open tab for my dashboard and I'm going over here to the left side of the dashboard and I'm going to um, scroll down the menu to appearance and click appearance and I'm going to go over here to widgets and click widgets and I'm going to look for an image widget which is which was the cool widget that allowed us to do this on a wordpress.com blog so here in my bin of uh, possible widgets for the blog I I see image and uh, you see where the, the cross is now it's going to allow us to push I'm, I'm clicking down on this on my mouse and I'm dragging the widget over to um, over to this place where the visible images where, where the Im image where the widgets rather are being sh are, are actually being seen on my blog I've just so I've just I've just picked it up and I've dragged it right here under links let me let me put it before links I want to put it above links and I'll drop it right in that broken dotted line and I'm going to go over and remember we have we have cut that image URL from the image or copied it rather I'm going to paste it into this form blank that says image URL and I I won't give it a well I could give it a title let's let's go ahead and give it a title just to help us orient but it's not necessary we don't we won't bother giving it a caption and and down here there's a blank that says uh, URL link and so when the image is clicked when the thumbnail is clicked it'll take us to the page to see the full I image go back to the other open tab I have for my blog where I was working earlier I'm gonna click edit page and I'm back in the uh, in the in the page that I that I had just published with my image there okay so I'm going to um, I've already published this page without giving it a title or, or a caption or anything I'm gonna uh, view the page and there is the page on my blog with her image the full size the full size image okay so I'm going to now go up to the address bar and look at the URL for this page and I'm going to uh, copy and paste it. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to slide over to the other open tab for the blog and click on that tab where I was working in the widgets page you remember and I'm going to um, we've got the we've got the widget the image widget open that we were adding data in and I'm going down here where it says link URL and I'm gonna paste the 
URL for the page with the full size image on it. Okay, and now I'm going to just size it. I'm going to make it 125 pixels. This is a good width size, and if you if you you want all your thumbnails probably to be the same size, same width on the sidebar, and it will sell. It will automatically adjust for the height for this image width. Okay, and now I am going to save the thumbnail sometimes hard to tell if you've saved them or not let's let me try again I think we're good. So uh, let me go back to the other tab to see check our work. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, well, I could check it either way. Tell you what, let's just go back to the. Uh, let's go back to the to look at our blog page. Look at our blog rather. So I'm just opening a screen to view the blog like a tourist. And I'll see if our new thumbnail is there. And she is. She's right over here to the side as a sidebar image. And you can see the title we typed. So that is just that just shows you how easy it is to put up a thumbnail image and if I click on her it will take me right to the page that we had set up that uh, has her full image okay I hope this tutorial has helped you and I will put the links up to uh, Thomas James PDF and um, good luck with your wordpress.com blogs you've got some options now for putting your your artwork up up on there so it can be seen. Thanks for watching. Bye.